also donating her hair, her locks of hair, to a great cause. Get on up here. You got to get your picture taken. Matter of fact, let's get the whole family up on stage. Nikki, get in between Aiden. This is called a family affair. Giving back, saving lives. Great job. Thank you folks for coming out. Love you guys. God bless you. And you know it is. Every everybody in this room, you are helping raise funds to help find a cure for cancer. I thank you for that. Okay, I think we're off to a great start here. It's uh, about 1.30, and I uh, know we've had a lot of folks go through the line so far, which has been amazing. We've had a lot of heroes step up. We have a very interesting story. We have, uh, we have a husband and wife that are right in the middle of our shaving area right now that we want to tell a little bit of the story about. And, you know, when it comes time to what, what this event is all about, it, it, it's about helping the kids. I keep getting away. And uh, we we have two people here that four weeks ago had not even had never heard of St. Baldrick's before. And when when they heard the story of why Myra had a shaved head several months ago, does everybody remember that? Yes, you can clap for that, please, please. Go ahead, clap for that. Myra's my wife. For anybody who doesn't know that, uh, when they asked. Why she has shaved her head? She explained it. She explained the reason and the cause, and what this is about, and and that it's all about the kids and finding a cure. And they said they were intrigued. And actually, it started with Katie here. And Katie made the mistake of saying that shaving her head was on her bucket list. Okay? Don't ask what else is on her bucket list. But but shaving your head. She was very intrigued on being a part of this. And sitting at a dinner, when we had never met Katie and Jim before, sitting at a dinner with our friend Tom Phelps, who's right here in front, we struck a bargain that Katie decided to shave her head if we could raise $5,000. And at that table, the $5,000 was um, basically spoken for. So Katie was in at that point. So, so the story just gets better, because Jim, being the good husband that he is, decides, he's very proud of his wife, so he decides to go to work and brag about what it is that his wife is doing and the great things she's doing for him. And everything else like that. And what do you think they said to him when he was at work? Why are you participating in this? In fact, we will raise $5,000 if you are willing to do this. And so he was kind of uh, at a point where, well, I'm assuming you were speechless. I was speechless. You were speechless. So not only, not only has, has Jim's friends and, and uh, partners and clients raised $5,000, they've raised over $10,000 as of this morning. So we couldn't be happier to have you guys here and make the sacrifice and uh, you know you show your love for this cause and for helping others uh, through this. So we're gonna spend a few minutes here and we're gonna start a shade. Do you have any any closing words as it, with a full head of hair? Okay, hang on a second. First thing you came up and said to me was, "Have you done this before?" And what was your answer? Okay, that should be concerning because she's never done it before. Okay. Any, any closing words with your full head of hair? No, I think I've been looking very, very young though without hair. I think I think there will definitely be a lot of people that will think you look very young. Bruce actually looks much younger. Bruce had a full mustache last year, and everyone says he looks much younger, so I think it's gonna be the same. Katie, do you have any parting words here? Uh, just that I'm excited to be doing this, and uh, now that I know about St. Paul Bricks, uh, maybe if my hair grows out enough in a year, I'll be back next year. That's so great. All right. So I think we I think we uh, should have a little countdown here. Five, four, three, two, one. We're off. Thank you to Jim and Katie for being here. Oh my God! Don't do it! Don't do it! No I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Says, why, why would I grow yeah. my hair back? And I says, it's white. It does grow in, right? Yeah.
thank you so much for coming back out. Look at Adam over there. Beth is here, UPS in the house, I love it. That's gonna look good. I think you're gonna like the look. I seriously. All right. So do you have a do you, do you have a Harley at all? I can, I can start new style with the table. I'm telling you. Shave the head. Grab a Harley. Yeah. Some leathers. Well, he used to have a Harley. Time to get another one. Uh, I'm telling you. That, that one back. Oh really? All right. All right. How about a '56 Lincoln Continental convertible? Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm sorry, I'm oh. <laughs> Well, you're going to need a convertible now, but just to feel the wind in your head. So did you get that tattoo when you were younger? Uh, <laughs> oh man, I forgot about that. That was the old boyfriend. That's right, that was the old boyfriend. Who's Bob? No. <laughs> He's got that concerned look, and he's like, "One, well, hmm." You're both doing great things. You wanted that camera? Well, oh, damn, they are. It's not messed with the water. Yeah, we're going. We're going all the way. 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 We're going Beautiful. Only way to do it. Do you think Alex will try? You know, Alex Sanchez is one of our star basketball players in Long Beach State. Says her senior year she's going to come back and shave her head at St. Baldwin's. Oh. Wow. <laughs> She's already in the <laughs> Whenever he's ready. Are you getting it all cut off? Are you going to do it all? Are you shaving it all? You're going to shave your head. Are you really? Congratulations, all the way down. That is huge. So you're going to shave your head. Tell us why. I'm not going to shave my head. No, no, no. Tell us why. I'm well. <laughs> but you're going to shave your head all the way down? No, I'm not. So you're going to shave it. Tell, tell us why. No, I'm not going to shave it. It's <laughs> great. That's great what you're doing. Thank you for coming out and doing what you're doing. It means a lot. There are people that are going to be able to have a wig now because of your beautiful hair. So it means a lot. What's your name? Just say that to all the women. Isabel. Isabel. Great name. Where do you go to school? Yeah, I'm Very good. Very good. Thank you for coming out again. Is this your first time? No, second. Have you, did you catch it here last year too? Uh, no, not last year, about a couple years ago or so. Great, thanks again for coming back. Beautiful job, beautiful hair. Is this your dad over here? Is your dad? How important is this? It's fantastic. It's great. Uh, she lost her grandmother to cancer, and uh, we just had a friend that lost a child in the hospital cancer. So it's a wonderful program, wonderful uh, institution. You know, it's about giving back. And Isabel, thank you again. I know you've lost people in your family, so how, that's just, it's, it's a beautiful thing what you're doing. So thank you. Thank you very much. Changing lives. All right. I like that. And UPS on the other side, right? All right. It is. I like the tattoos. I'm not allowed to show all mine, so. I'm worried about the first look in the mirror. 
It, it is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I just, yeah. But I am showing him in a second because he wants to get a tattoo of a UPS shield on his head. And it's tattooed on my leg, so what the heck, you know. So you're gonna look on top, look at this. Ah, you guys are gonna go to dinner tonight. A real good dinner. I think you guys should go, hey, Fleming's maybe, or you know, just something, something fun. Keep it vegan. Maybe Taboo down in Laguna Beach. That's a good place to Just walk in and say, I lost the bet. Or oh, you won the bet. That's it. You won the bet. You changed some lives today. Trust me, you both changed some lives today. <laughs> what did you say? She's. Oh, so you got married? Come on. No kidding. <laughs> Is Jim shaving his eyebrows too? Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah, Jim was in the walk around. That's what I thought, I mean, that's easy for us to say, <laughs> but you do, you look lovely. Okay, I got my, I've got my, I've got my, I've got my green hair